and Nobody Noticed really impressed me as, as a group performance piece because they took us on such a journey with such difficult subject matter. Like that, that subject matter could have been something that became very preachy, but instead of that, they established an actor-audience relationship that was exceptional. And I was with them for the whole part of the journey. And even the, the, um, the visual thing with, of the set with the, um, with the newspapers really... Um, not only did they set it up and make it look theatrical, but then they incorporated the newspapers into their performance and made it so much a part of what they were doing. They empowered the prop. And yes. I, as an audience member, I was so interested in what was in those newspapers. Mm -hmm. And they made me believe that they were jumping back in time reading the newspapers. And I was just, as I said, I was in the moment the whole time with that piece. Yeah, their deliberate choice of using verbatim theatre mm -hmm. as their performance style mm -hmm. was particularly effective. Uh, they manipulated the conventions to an exemplary level mm -hmm. and uh, it was very clear that their piece was grounded in research, mm -hmm. which mm -hmm. is what's important for all pieces, mm -hmm. uh, so that you can get the journey from that. Mm -hmm. And they were obviously very well aware of the conventions mm -hmm. of verbatim and managed mm -hmm. to manipulate them well. And uh, the challenge with verbatim, as we know, is creating that audience engagement. And I think through all their control of the performance elements, they did that very well and created very clear dramatic meaning for their audience. And, and these students were, take, were taking a risk because they were dealing with difficult subject matter that they knew had to be entertaining to an audience in terms of act-audience relationship. So they knew the risk, but they researched, as you said, the piece so well. They built upon it. It had obviously been um, reflected upon and refined. Mm. So that when they finally got to present their piece, I imagine, for their HSC, well, obviously for their HSC because they were selected for on stage, it was just a very polished piece of theatre that showed innovation and flair at every level, I found. Mm. Mm. Nineteen ninety. Rape of a 16-year-old. Attempted rape of 16-year-old. Attempted rape of 17-year-old. 2000. Rape sex worker. 2002. Raped and attacked by a prostitute. 2010. Released March 17. 2011. Geelong King hit. 2012. Rape and murder of a 29-year-old. Imprisoned. Released. Released. Imprisoned. Parole. Parole. Imprisoned. Rapes. Released. Imprisoned. Harass. Abuses. Harasses. Verdict. Released. Imprisoned. Imprisoned. Released. Parole. Parole. Imprisoned. Imprisoned. Release. Imprisoned. Imprisoned. Release. Right. Verdict. Parole. Imprisoned. Release. Verdict. Kills. 2016. Reduced life sentence. Adrian Ernest Bailey now. Isn't that quite the charming young boy? I mean, I saw him walking his sister's to and from oh. school last week. Bless his little heart. <laughs> and I think he's quite popular with the girls. Oh. Mm -hmm. They won't leave the poor boy alone. Well, he does have the reputation for being quite the pigtail tugger. Ooh. My poor lady's head was positively aching after school last week. Well, boys will be boys. You know, the father is a little bit odd. Oh, mm, I completely yes. understand. I mean, Christine is talking of leaving. Well, what can we do? You know, Phyllis? Yes, dear? Beatrice? Mm. I saw him take a girl home last night. Oh, mm, you did? Nice. I mean, there have been Sightings around the neighbourhood of multiple young girls leaving that house mm -hmm. after mm -hmm. dark. Yes, but I can do one better. <clears throat> Not to pry or anything. Yes. But I did hear some odd noises coming from the house. Oh my! <laughs> Looks like they had fun. Well, boys will be boys. Oh, and it gets better. I heard that he is in fact getting married. I know, and at 18 too. Yes, but ladies, ladies, I heard from Hilda last week at book club that there's a child involved, mm. born out of wedlock. Disgraceful if you ask me. Yes, but consider this. He is a young man. That's true. And she should have known better. Well, 
These things happen. Adrian Ernest Bailey, born July 14th, 1971, to parents Ernest and Christine Edwards. He was the oldest of five, three sisters and one brother. He lived in Cobridge, Victoria, in a nice neighbourhood. He aspired to be a pastry chef and participated in many sporting activities in his youth. In 1995, he divorced his wife due to his violent tendencies. Yet by the end of the year, he had already begun a new relationship. Due to Bailey's deteriorating romantic relationships, he turned to violence in order to find relief. Thank you, Mark. A 20-year-old man has been found seriously injured after being randomly confronted outside the Eureka nightclub in Geelong. The victim was eating outside a cafe at about 1.30 a.m. when Bailey started abusing him and punched him in the face, breaking his jaw and rendering him unconscious. The victim has since been admitted to Geelong Hospital. Now Mark, CCTV has captured the attack and Mr. Adrian Bailey has been arrested and charged with the assault, claiming he was too drunk to remember the incident. His trial begins in February. Back to you, Mark. And time marched on. September 11, 10th anniversary for terrorist attack. October 19th, Queen visits Australia for the 16th time. November 8th, carpet tax pass in Parliament. December 3rd, ALP sports gay marriage. January 7th, hot air balloon crash, Carterton, New Zealand. February 2012, Adrian Bailey, parole hearing. Mr. Bailey, do you feel remorse? Yes, yes of course. course. Do you feel sorry for what you've done? Yes, of course. Do you still feel the urge to stalk, to hurt, to maim, or to kill? Mr. Bailey, do you feel you have been sufficiently rehabilitated and no longer pose a threat to the community? Yes, of course. Parole granted. Parole granted March 17th. The Victorian Parole Authorities advised against this decision, as he had not been sufficiently rehabilitated. Yet the state chose to completely disregard this comment and released him into the community. Released March 17th. And, and nobody, nobody noticed. noticed. <coughs> I feel sick. In my stomach. When I heard his name on the radio, my heart shattered. If they had notified me, I would have told all the victims. I feel terrible. I could have notified the detectives and sent Kilda. I feel sick in my stomach. 2012, Adrian Bailey raped prostitute. And nobody noticed. Rapes Dutch backpacker. And nobody noticed. Has a fight with his girlfriend. And nobody noticed. Goes out for drinks. And nobody noticed. He leaves the pub. And nobody noticed. He stalks, rapes, and kills. And nobody noticed. He smashes the phone. And nobody noticed. He returns home. And nobody noticed. He grabs a shovel. And nobody noticed. He digs a shallow grave. And nobody noticed. He buries her body. And nobody noticed. He is arrested. And nobody noticed. He admits to the rape and murder of Jill Mark. And everybody noticed. Miss McKeon, Miss McKeon! Okay, I'm doing that. Don't give a shine. Right there. Okay. <clears throat> Tell us how it feels to lose your daughter, Jill. Tell us the story. At the outset, more. It is hard to say more, but it's just not okay. More! More sadness. Just, grief. just for anger. not okay. It's just not okay to rape and murder my child. McKeon, I need emotion. The whole world is watching. That is an absolute. I am 55 years of age. No, no. My Ooh, mother is, is 82. Mm. And my daughter is dead! Toma! Toma! Right? You need to be here, right? Yeah. Alright, are we ready? ready? Come on, look at the camera. How are you feeling? Okay. Now, tell us about your wife, Jill. We want to hear the story from the beginning. Jill embodied everything that I could ever ask for in a partner. Mm -hmm. Her sense of fun, unquenchable lust for life, 
when we're through the hardest of times. Something's missing. And higher in the best of times. The brutality. What was stolen from me? Hey. In September. Give yeah. us. The 22nd. Turmoil. With my best friend. The love of my life. Give us. The core. In my entire world. I think of the waste. No. The beautiful Ooh, mind. This would make a better headline. No. The very beautiful soul. Ooh. At the hands of a grotesque no. human being. Notice. 